Ruth, we all have our experience. And, and so you go through things and things happen and they're encoded in the, in the firing patterns in the brain. But what we know from the idea of memory integration, uh, and that's where this comes from basically, um, is that if you use the focus of conscious attention, that's called focal attention, it activates a part of the brain called the hippocampus. This is my science part of my response to you. So it activates the hippocampus. And the hippocampus is a puzzle piece assembler of memory. Mm -hmm. So it literally is in integrating lots of different layers of memory, of bodily memory, emotional memory, uh, behavior, behavioral memory called procedural memory, um, as well as uh, perceptual memory, along with mental models, schema that are developed. And that happens to us all the time. But when you, when you basically ask a child to articulate the contents of memory, couple of things happen. Number one, you're activating consciousness, which engages the hippocampus, which allows pieces of what are called implicit memory to be integrated together. So that's number one. Number two, it actually develops, and there are a number of developmental studies that show this, that parents who do what's called memory talk with their children have children who remember better. They have actually more effective access to memory. So um, what do you mean by memory talk? Memory talk is remember to remember. It's where you say, let's say, let's say you and I, let's say you're my daughter and we go to the zoo. So now we're back at dinner and we're with uh, your mom, my wife, and we're together. And I say, Ruthie, can I call you Ruthie? Sure. Um, so Ruthie, um, tell mom what happened when that orangutan threw the banana peel over the fence. You know, and now you're seeing, first of all, I'm interested in mm -hmm. your experience. Mm -hmm. That's really important from a relational point of view. Number two, you now are drawing on all the elements of memory in your brain using consciousness. And your mom and I are now listening to you say, he was in the corner and I thought he was sleeping. And then suddenly he turned and he threw the banana peel at three of us sitting there. And oh, and then, then I say, yeah, and remember how we screamed and oh, it was so scary. And that banana peel, you know, so now there's what's called co-construction of narrative. Now it's a little, mm -hmm. so the first is remember to remember. The other is telling the story, but these are very interrelated, you know. And so basically, I mean, Lev Vygotsky said this years ago that, uh, you know, thought is internalized dialogue. And the dialogue is, I say, Ruthie, tell mom about what happened with the orangutan or tell her whatever's on your mind. So now you're searching memory and you're basically integrating your memory systems so that your sense of who you are in the physical world, who you are in the relational world, who you are even in your interior world will be much more, you know, put together mm -hmm. because of the memory talk that, that I've asked you to participate in. Mm -hmm. And there's also emotion talk, you know, where you talk about the nature of emotion and kids who have parents who talk about emotions as an entity that's important and that can be understood, have children with better emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. You know, what we do with our kids really matters. And, and these things actually activate the brain in ways that are totally teachable.